In the 1980s and 1990s, there were two ball players who were, in my mind, pretty similar in how they kept turning up on winning ball clubs. Lonnie Smith and Marquise Grissom. Lonnie Smith played for the 1980 championship Phillies, then the 1982 championship Cardinals. And he was also on the 85 Cardinals and also on the 85 Royals. He got traded to the Royals in the 85 season, the year both teams won their pennants. He turned up with the early 90s Atlanta Braves as well. Pretty good 90, 93 Pittsburgh team. He played a lot of winning baseball. He had about 288 lifetime and stole 370 bases in his career. Marquise Grissom hit a 272 career and uh, stole 429 bases. He had five seasons where he hit 20 or more home runs, plus two others where he had 17 and 19 home runs. But he let Lonnie Smith turned up on a lot of winning ball clubs. 1994 Expos, best record in the National League, though there was no World Series that year. Turned up with the 95 Atlanta Braves. 1997 Cleveland Indians, pennant winning teams in 97. Then he also played for the early 2000s Dodgers and Giants. They had some pretty good teams. Marquise Grissom and the 94 Montreal Expos host the 1995 Atlanta Braves game 99 of the King of the Hill tournament. This is Apple Baseball Classics, where yesterday's stars performed through cards and dice. Classic games on our tabletops. Here's the starting lineups for today's Atlanta Braves. Mike Devereaux, Mark Lumpke, Ryan Klosko, Chipper Jones, Fred McGriff, Dave Justice, Jeff Blauser, Javi Lopez, and Great Maddox on the mound. He's a great AC pitcher, X and ZZ modifier. For the Montreal Expos, Marquise Grissom, Mike Lansing, Moises Alou, Larry Walker, Will Cordero, Sean Berry, Cliff Floyd, Darren Fletcher, and Pedro Martinez, grade B pitcher with an X strikeout modifier. We'll get this game underway in three, two, one. There's a delivery to Devereaux. Six, four is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Martinez strikes out Mike Devereaux to start this game. Mark Lemke rolls a 5-6. That's a swing and a miss, strike three. Two strikeouts for Pedro Martinez. Ryan Klesko rolls a 3-5. Now that's a base hit for Klesko. Klesko reigns on the Martinez parade here. Two out single. Larry Chipper Jones. Jones rolls a 1-1 roll. They drive to right. Over the head of Larry Walker. Klesko rounds second. He rounds third. He's going to score. And Chipper Jones is going to go all the way to third with an RBI triple. Atlanta Braves won. And the Expos nothing. Larry Jones, Chipper Jones come, comes to bat. Or he's on third, rather. Here's Crime Dog McGriff. Just got into the Hall of Fame. McGriff rolls a three-one roll, and that's going to be, I believe, a base hit, single through shortstop, scoring Jones two to nothing. Atlanta in the first. Dave Justice, Justice rolls a four-five. That's going to be a base on balls. Four braves in a row that have reached base against Pedro Martinez. Jeff Blouse is the batter, and I need it. Going through six dice rolls. Here's the next dice roll. Six five is popped up on the infield. First baseman Cliff Floyd is going to claim it and make the catch. Two runs on three hits. Two left. Atlanta two, Montreal coming to bat. 
Greg Maddox takes the man for the Atlanta Braves, 19 and 2, 1.63 ERA. Probably the greatest season of his storied career. Marquise Grissom steps into the box for Montreal. Two runs down, 1 4 is a fly ball hit to left field. Ryan Klesko makes the catch. Here's Mike Laser Lansing. He rolls a 1 3, and it's a base on balls. Rare walk surrendered by Greg Maddox. Uh, let me double check. It has ZZ rating. That's not a, that's not a walk yet. Jumping the gun here. Two balls and no strikes to Lansing. Two six is a ground ball to third. Trevor Jones throws to Fred McGriff. There's two gone. Moises Alou. Alou swings and misses. Strike three. First strikeout for Maddox. It's three up and three down for the Expos. We go to the top of the second. Two to nothing. Braves. Catcher Javi Lopez leads off for Atlanta. 3-1 roll is a fly ball to center field. Marquise Grissom is under it and makes the catch. No DH uh, in this game. We're in the National League Park, so Greg Maddox will bat, and he rolls a 4-4 roll, and Maddox gets a base hit. He's on with one out. Mike Devereaux rolls a 2-4, and that's a swing and a miss, strike three. Devereaux strikes out for the second time. Mark Dirt Lemke rolls a 4-2, and that's a fly out to right fielder Larry Walker. No runs on a hit. Bottom of the second, Atlanta 2, Montreal nothing. All right, Walker leads off for the Expos. He was 2 for 4 yesterday with a couple of doubles on RBI. He rolls a 3-2, and that's a ground ball to second baseman Mark Lemke. Throw to Crime Dog at first, one out. Shortstop Will Cadero rolls a 2-6, and that's also rolled to the second baseman Lemke. Rinse and repeat. Sean Berry rolls a 11-5, or 6-5. As a pop out to the catcher, Javi Lopez. It's been 6 up and 6 down for Greg Maddox. Top of the third, Braves two, Expos nothing. All right, numbers three, four, and five are going to hit for Atlanta in the third. Klesko, Jones, and McGriff. Klesko rolls a 5-2, which is hit on the ground to first base, fielded by Cliff Floyd, and taken by his lonesome unassisted. Here's Chipper Jones. Jones tripled to knock in the first Atlanta run in the first inning. 31 is a base on balls. Fred McGriff singled in Chipper Jones after he tripled. He bats four sixes of the roll, and that's a swing and a miss, strike three, punched out by Pedro Martinez. Three strikeouts for Pedro. Dave Justice rolls a 4 3, and it's a comebacker back to Martinez. Throw to first. Third out, go to the bottom of the third. And I had two in Montreal, nothing. Cliff Floyd will lead off the last of the third for Montreal. Greg Maddox's fastball might not break a plane of glass, but his control will have you eating out of his hand. And the movement on his pitches. There's a pitch to Cliff Floyd. 6-2 is a swing and a miss. Strike three, second strikeout for Maddox. Darren Fletcher rolls a 2-2, and that's going to be a... Single right field, that's a hit in both the A column and the C column. First base hit for Montreal. It's a tie and run to the plate. Pitcher Pedro Martinez. Martinez hits a fly ball to left field. Uh, Ryan Kless goes under it, and he's got it. Two outs. Marquise Grissom. He rolls a 4-4 roll. Ground ball to um, first baseman Fred McGriff. Flips to Maddox covering, and that's the inning. It runs on a hit. Top of the fourth. 
It is 2 0 Atlanta. So it ain't 9 duo for the Braves. Jeff Blauser popped out the first, his first time up. There's a pitch from Pedro Martinez. Ground ball to second base. Lansing throws to Floyd. One out. Here's Javi Lopez. He hit 315 for the Braves in. 1995, and he's going to get a base hit here. Line drive single to left. Lopez's every speed is at first. Greg Maddox is a batter. He's one for one. He hit 153 in 95. I think he'll swing away. Ground ball to the shortstop. Cordero, he throws the first. Floyd misses it. Lopez will go all the way to third. And on the E3, here by Cliff Floyd, Maddox holds it first. Both teams are feeling calm, too. All right, due to the air, the Braves have them on the corners. Mike Devereaux comes to bat. Montreal will play their infield at double play depth. Martinez goes into the wine. Here is the pitch. Ball four to Mike Devereaux. Fills the bases. Brings up Mark Lemke. Okay, Mark Lemke put a quarter in the merry-go-round. He rolls a one-two. Rounder to Martinez, who rolls and throws the second. The relay to first is a double play. One-six-three. Inning, inning, twin killing. No runs on a hit. Bottom of the fourth, Atlanta two, Montreal nothing. Mike Lansing leads off for the Expos. He's rounded out the third, his first time up. Pitch from Greg Maddox is a 3 4, and it's a fly ball to center field. Caught by Mike Devereaux. Here's Moises Alou, the leading hitter of the Expos in 94 at 339. He rolls a 4 2. Fires out nine and gets AT pitchers. They ground out the shortstop, two outs. Larry Walker won four as a fly ball to Ryan Klesko and left. Three up and three down for the Expos. Great Maddox making it look easy. We go to the top of the fifth. Two to nothing. Atlanta. Like these APA card sets from 1995, I've got, I've got several 1995 teams and the backs look like so. Ryan Klesko will lead off the fifth for the Braves against Pedro Martinez. And the roll is a 2-5 to Klesko. That's going to be a fly ball to center field. That's taken by Marquise Grissom. One out. Chipper Jones rolls a 1-3, and it's a walk. He's been on base all three times. Two walks and a triple. Crime dog. Martinez gets the sign. Here's the pitch to McGriff. Line drive into the corner and right field. Chipper Jones will round second and go to third. McGriff slides in the second safe with a double. Second and third. Expos can't give up more runs. They're going to play the infield in. Martinez delivers to David Justice, and there's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two outs. Jeff Blauser. He rolls a 2-3, and that's a ground ball to third base. Sean Berry's got it. Throws across. Three outs. We're halfway through. The Braves have stranded... Five runners in the last two innings. They might regret that later on. Do nothing in Atlanta. Solid hitting shortstop. Will Cordero will lead off for Montreal. 294 in 1994. One five roll is a base hit by Will Cordero. That is a single in both the A and C columns. And that 11 lets him steal second. On the next pitch to John Berry. So we got a runner in scoring position for Montreal. 
John Barry is a potential tying run. Let's see, 6 2 is a roll, and that's a ground ball to second base. Fielded by Lemke, the throw to McGriff. One out, and Cordero goes to third. Brings up Cliff Floyd. Atlanta will play the infield in. Here's a pitch to Cliff Floyd. Base hit to the other way, left field. Floyd hit the ball where it was pitched. That drives in Cordero. And puts the Expos on the board. It's Atlanta 2, Montreal 1. Now one out, one on. Darren Fletcher comes up. He rolls a 2-1. That's a fly ball to left fielder Ryan Klesko. Two outs. Pitcher Pedro Martinez rolls a 6-4. And that's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Third punch out by Greg Maddox. The Expos get one on two hits. They leave one. Top of the six, two to one Atlanta. Harvey Lopez will start it off for the Atlanta Brace. He's one for two on the day, followed by Greg Maddox, who's also one for two. Here's a pitch from Pedro Martinez. One four is a fly ball to left fielder Moises Alou. Lopez is out. Here's Mad Dog Maddox. 4-2 as a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two up and two down. Mike Deverell rolls a 6-6 roll. That's a hit column roll. And 3-4 is a double by Mike Deverell. He's in scoring position for the Braves. Chance to get that run back. Mark Lemsky. Lemke rolls a 4-6. And that's a ground ball to the shortstop. Cordero, the throw to first. That ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth, Atlanta Braves two and their Expos one. Top of the Expo order and Marquise Grissom. He is 0 for 2. Big exam there against Greg Maddox. 5 1 roll is a line drive to center field. It's going to get down in front of Devereaux. Leadoff single for Marquise Grissom. He's a potential tie and run. That brings up Lansing. He's a good hit and run guy. I'm going to try to hit and run. It is much harder to hit and run against an AC pitcher, but here we go. 1 4 roll for Mark Lansing. That's a 30. Uh, he flies out to. Wait a minute. Yeah, he flies out to left field. Grissom will have to retrace his steps and go back to first base. I say Lansing's a good hit and run guy because he's got three thirty ones on his car and thirty one is usually a base hit on the hit and run chart. Moises Salou comes up, eighty hitter for the Expos. His role is a four six swing and a miss, strike three. Maddox has struck out Alou for the second time today. Two outs in a row on first. Larry Walker rolls a. Well, hit to the shortstop, Blouser, the throw to first, third out. Top of the seventh, two to one Atlanta. All right, this is the point of fatigue inning for Pedro Martinez. The three bad things happen to him is Greg goes down to CX. Brian Klesko leads off for Atlanta. One, two is a ground ball to second baseman Mike Lansing. Throw to first, Klesko's retired. Chipper Jones rolls a five, two. That's a ground ball to first base. Cliff Floyd's got it. Goes to the bag himself. Two outs. Fred McGriff rolls a 3-3 roll. Line to the corner in right field. McGriff's going to be on. He's going to go to second with a double. He is 3-4-4 with two doubles. Dave Justice rolls a an 8, but against the B pitcher, that's going to be a ground out to Martinez, 1-3. No runs a hit, one left. Seventh inning stretch time. Good ball game, Atlanta 2, Montreal 1. So far, Greg Maddox has surrendered four hits and no walks. This is also his point of fatigue inning. Three bad things happen. He goes to a grade A pitcher. Will Cordero leads off for Expos. They're down by one run. 
21 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Cordero takes the U-turn back to the dugout. Sean Berry rolls a 2-2 roll. That's going to be an eight, but against Maddox, that's a pop-up to third. Two outs. Cliff Floyd rolls a base on balls, or two balls and no strikes. He's got that double Z. One, two rolls, the next roll, and that's hit on the ground to second base. Lemke's got it, throws to McGriff. Three up and three down, that's six in a row, retired by Maddox. Top of the eighth inning in Atlanta, two, Montreal, one. Seven, eight, nine, do up for the Braves in the eighth. They're holding on to the slimmest of leads, one run, but with the way Maddox is pitching, that lead looks bigger. Four, four, four five is a base on balls surrendered by Pedro Martinez to Jeff Blauser. Blauser's on for the first time. He's 0 for 3. Every speed at first. Javi Lopez rolls a 4 1, and that could be a double play ball. Hit to Cordero. Over to. Lansing and to Floyd, it is a 6-4-3 twin killing that clears the bases. Greg Maddox rolls a 2-6, and that's a ground out to third. Bottom of the eighth, one run lead for the Braves. Catcher Darren Fletcher will lead off for the Expos. He is the eighth place hitter. I see a pitch hitter comes out on deck for Pedro Martinez. That's Lee Frazier. And then to the top of the order. Here's a delivery from Ray Maddox to Darren Fletcher. Ray Fletcher rolls a 4-5, and that's going to be two balls and no strikes. The next pitch to Fletcher is a fly ball lifted to right field. David Justice is under it and makes the catch. One out. That brings up Lou Frazier. He rolls a 6-5 that's popped up behind home plate. Lovey Lopez has a beat on it and has got it. Two outs. Top of the order and Marquise Grissom. Grissom rolls a 1-4 and that's a fly ball to left field. Easy play for Ryan Klesko. Three up and three down for the Expos. Rick Maddox is not tiring. He has retired nine in a row. Top of the ninth. Atlanta Braves 2 and the Montreal Expos 1. All right, Jeff Shaw is the new pitcher for the Expos. He is a grade C, Y, Z pitcher. And he's looking at the top of Atlanta's batting order. Mike Devereaux steps into the batter's box, swings the bat from the right side. 1-4 is a fly ball to left field, caught by Moises Alou. Here's the second baseman, Mark Lemke. He rolls a 4-6, and that's hit on the ground to shortstop Will Cadero. The throw to Cliff Floyd, and there's two outs. Ryan Klesko rolls a 5-1, and that's a base hit for Klesko. Klesko goes 2 for 5 today. Chipper Jones rolls a 4-3, and that's a comebacker back to Shaw. Throw to first. Three outs. All right, we're coming to the bottom of the ninth inning. It's 2-1. to one. Atlanta. Two, three, and four do up for the Expos, but Rick Max has held them to 0 for 9 today. Mike Lansing steps into the box. Montreal down by a run. 6 4 is a swing and a bit Smith missed by Mike Lansing. I can't talk. Strikeout. Six strikeouts for Greg Maddox. Moises Salou rolls at 21, and that's skied to the right side. Right fielder David Justice is under it, makes the catch. Just one more to go, and that's Larry Walker. Larry Walker hits a pop-up near the third base dugout. Catcher Javi Lopez giving chase and makes the catch. Greg Maddox retires the final 12 Expos in a row. He's going to get the victory, 2-1. to one. We'll be back with the line score. With the Atlanta Braves scored two runs on nine hits and no errors. The Expos one run on four hits and no errors. Pedro Martinez takes the loss. He goes eight innings and gives up two runs. And Greg Maddox, which is a four hitter, 
and he is the winning pitcher, gives us up one earned run, complete game victory. I'm going to make the newly inducted Hall of Famer Fred McGriff, though, the MVP of the game. He went 3 4 4 with two doubles and the RBI, an RBI, and his RBI would be the game when he hit, even though he came in the first inning. Well, good, good game to enjoy. Hope you enjoyed that one. The next one's going to be the 1996 New York Yankees going to Atlanta. The game where Kimmy, Kenny Rogers will be pitching against John Smoltz in the 95 Braves. In our next game, join us for that one. Thanks for watching. Final here, Atlanta Braves 2, Montreal Expos 1. Atlanta Braves are the new kings of the hills. And with their pitching, they may be there a while. We'll see. Have a good day and may God bless. Yeah.